Today, I want to show you a cool technique for creating an end title from a graphic that does not have an alpha channel. Here, I have this black and white logo that Justine sent to me for a project that we worked on together. One quick way to tell if the image has an alpha channel is to choose alpha from the view menu. It's solid white, so no alpha. I'll set this back to all. In the timeline, I've placed a clip where she just wrapped up her video, and I want to bring up her logo in an interesting way. I'll skim to where I want the logo to come in and press I to mark an endpoint. Locate the graphic in the media browser and press Q to connect it above the clip. In the effects browser, I'll locate the image mask and drop it onto the clip. In the inspector, click on the source well, then locate the logo in the browser, select its film strip and click apply clip. Image masks create areas of transparency based on the color, luminance, or alpha channel. Since this image has no alpha, I'll select Luminance from the Source Channel pop-up. The transparency mask is created from the black and white pixels. Black pixels are treated as transparent and white pixels as opaque. As a result, the video appears through the letters. Next, I'll skim to where she has left the frame, press Command down arrow to select the video clip below it, then press Command B to split the clip. In the generator sidebar, I'll select Solids, then drop the custom generator onto the right side of the edit point and choose Replace from Start. With the generator selected, I'll change the color, then add a cross dissolve at the cut point and another one at the head of the graphic. Let's see how that looks. I want to make a few more tweaks. With the transition selected, I'll change the look type to shadows, so less of the video bleeds through the white background. Then roll the transition a bit later, so we see more of the video play through the mask. Looks great, but what happens if I invert the mask? We get a completely different look.